I wanted to do a quick video on Luminar 2019, or I'm sorry, Luminar 3. Um, this just came out, and I recently posted a photo that I did, just kind of a snapshot I did on the Facebook page about how I liked the new Luminar 2019, much to my surprise. Um, and then I mentioned that I was not a fan of Luminar 2018. I didn't really use it. And I said, in, I've said before that if it was not a free upgrade from Skylum, I definitely would not have bought <clears throat> the new Luminar. And a couple of people commented, said, well, there's no difference. It's the same thing. It's just that the new one has the DAM, the digital asset manager feature, which is like Lightroom has the digital asset manager. So I want to show you why I don't like 2018 as to how I used to use it and why I like the new version of Luminar. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take this raw file. Nothing too spectacular here, just a pretty generic shot. And I'm going to export it. No, I'm not. But edit and come on, edit and Luminar 2018. So I've used... When you export it, it creates a TIFF file. So here's what I notice. This is what's always bothered me. So it looks okay when it comes in, but as soon as I do just this basic processing, I pull down my highlights, open up my shadows. Okay, let's go back to Lightroom. Let's get the raw file, pull down the highlights, open up the shadows. Okay, so here's the same file in TIFF in Aurora, or I'm sorry, in Luminar 2018. Now that's all I'm gonna do to it. I'm just gonna hit apply, send it back to Lightroom as a TIFF file. And... All right, so here's the raw file, highlights and shadows, TIFF file, highlights and shadows. You can't tell me how different that looks. The colors, it's, it's, satur it's oversaturated straight out of so there's the raw there's the original raw with highlights and shadows and there's the luminar this is what bothered me every time when you go from lightroom into luminar 2018 it you just get a weird look you get weird colors it's oversaturated i think it looks a little bit muddy now luminar is or does not sharpen by default but lightroom does so in this tiff file um Let's get in, zoomed in on the same thing here. I've always thought that um, Lightroom just looked a little bit cleaner. So there's the Lightroom, there's the Luminar. It's not a huge difference in terms of sharpness, a minor difference. I mean, if you really got nitpicky, you know, we could find, it's getting confusing. We could find, you know, some stuff that's maybe a little bit different. But this would have been sharpened before it went to Luminar because it was, you know, done with adjustments. So this is why I don't like it, because as soon as you send anything into Luminar, at least in my experience, you just get an artificial Luminar look. And for that reason, I didn't really use it. Maybe if there was something specific that I wanted to do, I would use it. But now, let's look at the new Luminar. So here's the same raw file. And I think this might be the difference. I don't know enough about this stuff, like software and all that, to know if... Um, it would make that big of a difference or if they change their algorithm, but this is a DNG file. So this is a raw file. It's not a TIFF, but if I go in here, let's make sure this is all reset. So let's go in here, pull down my, open up my shadows, a little, a little glitchy. So there's the original Lightroom raw. Let's do, let's do this so we can kind of compare side by side here. Oh, great. All right. Well, that's not, that's not boding well for the new software. I've noticed a little bit of that. It's definitely glitchy. Oh, geez. It's been doing that a little bit. I just restarted it. So it's still in there. All right. So same thing. Um, if you just look at the difference here, I mean, it, it's, it's so noticeable. So this is why I like the new Luminar because I feel like it's a much more real looking photo versus this is a much more accurate representation. And I didn't even change the profile on this. I could come up here and change it to the Adobe profile, which I typically do. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, 
but this is what I want. I want this cleaner looking raw file. Now this is definitely sharper, but Lightroom sharpens by default where Illuminar doesn't. I haven't had the same result with just adding sharpening. I think Lightroom is like 40. So you see pretty similar. Sometimes in photos like this, I still do think Lightroom looks a little bit better, but if you look at the sky here, I think it recovered the highlights a lot better. And it even opened up the shadows a little bit better. Sometimes the shadows open up kind of hazy, but I've found that if instead of opening the shadows up all the way, I'll open them up a little bit and then use this Accent AI. I think does a good job opening up shadows, but it's different for every picture. In this one, I don't really think it works. I think it makes it a little bit too processy looking um, down here primarily, but you can always do things selectively in here, which is nice. But that to me is the difference. I don't think that you can say that using Luminar 2018 as a Lightroom extension and Luminar 3 as a standalone program is the same. This is the same exact thing. Highlights and shadows. Highlights and shadows, highlights and shadows on the same exact file, completely untouched. That is orange, it's, process, it's just overdone, which you almost have to do, what I feel like I've always had to do is fix things. You have to desaturate so much, and I got sick of doing that. So it's a little bit closer, but look how much desaturation I had to do. Um, I see that also in Aurora. I wouldn't have upgraded my latest Aurora had they not talked about how they're much more realistic photos, and I think it's the same thing. We're just seeing more of a desaturation. But that's really it. That's all I wanted to say. I'm not affiliated with Skylum by any, in any way, shape, or form. Um, I am not inclined to give them a good review for any reason. But I have been impressed with the new Luminar. I think it's pretty slick. Um, it is a little bit glitchy and slow sometimes, I've noticed. But nothing major. Um, nothing serious yet. I'm sure they can fix all that stuff, but you see it does that kind of thing. And like it was, you see the sky's all screwed up right now. It takes a minute, but so far it's pretty good for certain photos. I will not be abandoning Lightroom. Um, I still think Lightroom is a outstanding editor in the photo in Photoshop and everything like that. So again, I don't know if, if it's, um, an algorithm change or if it's just the difference of handling a DNG file versus a TIFF file. So that's my observation. Be interested to know if any of you have seen or felt anything different. Let's resaturate. Or what your thoughts kind of are on that. But that to me puts Luminar back in the mix because I do like the ability to work in layers. There's obviously a lot more tools in here. Uh, sometimes maybe it few too many, but uh, the ability to work selectively right within the same layer, you know, you can add structure and things within the same layer selectively. That's a huge upgrade. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So if you watched that whole video, thank you for checking it out. Quick recap, what you saw there in the middle, Luminar did start to get a little bit glitchy. You saw that red screen. Um, that's happened to me a few times, mostly if I've had Luminar open and then, um, come back to it later in the day it's been doing that uh, i what i did there is i just shut it down and then i stopped recording shut it down reopened it and started recording i will say that i was able to shut it down and reopen it and get right back to where i was really fast like 10 20 seconds probably tops i shut it down and reopened it so that worked and that's a little glitch they'll fix that not a big deal but the whole point of that video was to sort of illustrate why I didn't use to Luminar 2018 and why I'm looking at Luminar 3 as something that I actually will use with the asset management tool in place. I'm not going to abandon Lightroom, but the big thing for me with Luminar 2018 going from Lightroom to Luminar is I just felt like any adjustments I made on that TIFF file from Lightroom were showing up in a weird way. I was getting different colorations, even if I did my raw development in Lightroom. I could go through and show lots of different examples as to why I didn't do it. And I found myself hitting the cancel button more than the apply button. So the ability to do the raw development right inside of Luminar on a um, raw file, get that look still looking super clean, and then go in and take advantage of the different tools if the photo calls for it. Now, this particular photo was just a 
random shot. It was not anything good that I would ever put out there just for the example of the video to show. But um, that's the whole point. That's why I didn't use Luminar 2018 and why I didn't think I was going to like this. I think they made a great call as offering this as a free upgrade because like I mentioned in the video, if I would have had to pay for it, I wouldn't have. I would have jumped ship from Luminar and just stuck with Lightroom and Photoshop. But I think it's a pretty cool software. So if you're getting into photography and you're maybe hesitant to do something like subscribe to Lightroom and Photoshop, I'd recommend checking it out. Also, like I said, I'm not affiliated with Skylum in any way, shape, or form. I um, kind of threw Luminar 2018 under the bus. I don't, I didn't like it. I don't believe in taking raw files off my memory card and putting them into a program. I want, you know, a digital asset manager, which Lightroom has always been the dominant software for. So that's sort of my feedback, my thoughts. Uh, again, interested to know if anyone else has similar experiences or if you're doing anything differently, but that's just what I found. I think Luminar 3 is pretty impressive. Um, I've enjoyed using it so far. Thanks.